Hello, welcome to Wise Guys. This session is show you concentration of a solution when the concentration is expressed as part per billion. This is part one. Using part per billion, which is PBB, and for calculating even smaller concentration of a solution. The PPB is even smaller than PPN. PPB is parts per billion. So the concentration of solution in PPB equals to amount of solute over amount of solution multiplied 10 to the 9 exponent per billion. So PPB of solute, talking about mass of solute over mass of solute plus mass of solvent, and times 10 to the 9 exponent per billion. So also we can express the PBB as mass of solute over mass of solution times 10 to the 9 exponent per billion. And same unit for both solute and the solvent. And also solvent is the substance during the dissolving and in any mixture is the larger portion. So let me show you some question. Question one. There are certain groundwater quality standards for drinking purposes, the maximum allowable concentration of a certain element is 0 0.002 milligrams in each thousand grams of groundwater. What is the concentration of that element expressed in parts per billion? Follow the definition. We look at the question because it's a maximum allowable concentration of a certain element is 0 0.002 milligram. This is the amount which is the mass of solute allowable for certain elements is 0 0.002 milligrams. In each thousand grams of groundwater, the thousand grams of water, groundwater is the mass of solution, right? That's why we can write. So the PBB talking about a certain amount of elements, the PBB equals this element equals 0 0.002 milligrams over thousand grams of groundwater. So this is a different unit. We need to change it to the same unit. So keep milligrams to convert to thousand grams to milligrams. The grams is the big unit. The milligrams is small unit. So from grams to convert to milligrams just to multiply thousand. So one grams you call thousand milligrams. So multiply thousand, which is 10 to the 3 exponent, then becomes milligrams, and times 10 to the 9 exponent per billion. So equals to, then you can write, this one is 0 0.002, because milligrams milligrams cancel out. So the bottom is 10 to the 6 exponent, right? This is a 3, the 306 exponent. And multiply 9 exponent and the per billion. So we can simplify this expression. The 9 exponent simplify with 6 exponent. We, we still have 3 
zeros on the top. And the three zeros, which is thousand, multiplied by 0 0.002, we got the two. So this is a two per billion, which is two P, P, B. So that's why this one talking about the certain elements, the concentration in thousand grams of groundwater is two PBB. So this is a certain amount expressed as PBB, right? So this is the first question. The second question, let's look at the question. A groundwater analysis found that the concentration of lead PB in the well near a village was 60 PBB. So what is the amount in milligrams of lead in four kilograms of groundwater taken from the well. So in this question, we're looking for the amount of lead. So which is looking for the mass of salute. And we're given the concentration of lead is 60 PBB. And the mass of solution is four kilogram of groundwater. So we follow the definition, follow the formula. We write the stuff from 60 PBB, we write 60 PBB equals X milligrams. But we can leave convert milligrams later. But the bottom is four kilogram of groundwater. So 4.0 kilogram. Let's try kilogram. So we have same unit top bottom and multiply 10 to the nine exponent per billion. So in this case, we're looking for X kilogram. That's why for this part, 10 to the 9 exponent per billion equal, this is equal 1, because billion is 10 to the 9 exponent. This is equal 1. So we're just working with 60 ppb equals x over 4 kilogram. So we have x equals, so x in kilograms equal 60 ppb. We just put bracket to make more clear multiply four kilograms, so which equals, in this case, because a kilogram, that's why the top we have 60 is parts per billion, 10 to the nine exponent, right? 60 ppm, which is 60 parts per billion and times four, 0 0.0 kilograms. So in this case, we can have 4 times 60 is 240, right? 240 multiplied 10 to the negative 9 exponent kilograms, so which we can convert into move two decimal, write the scientific notation, which is 2.4 times 10 to the, this is the two zero for the top, is positive two zero, this is negative, so we have negative seven kilograms. Then we convert to, you're looking for milligrams, so we can multiply 10 to the three exponent, convert kilograms to grams. Then times another, three exponent, 10 to the three exponent, convert to grams to milligrams. So this is, a, finally we got 
unit is milligrams, right? So this one equals six exponent, and this is seven minus seven, and together equals 2.4 times 10 to the negative one exponent milligrams, which is 0 0.24 milligrams. So that means the amount of lead in four kilograms of groundwater taken from the well is 0 0.24 milligrams. This is presented by Wise Guys. Thank you.